ready to go. Good morning. And I always begin these days with the question, how many of my typing session videos have you watched before? I have watched many of them. Okay, all right. So when you're watching them, do you feel as though you understand what I'm asking a question for? Like what I'm trying to get from it? Well, most of the time, yes. Okay. So, when I'm um, listening to that, um, most of the time I play video games, so I just sometimes get lost in the game and I'm pretty much about uh, the system, but yeah. Um, it's kind of difficult for me to understand you, partially because of the audio is kind of hit and miss. Could, could you could you get closer to the mic? Oh, like this? Yeah, that's a, that's a lot better. So like maybe if you wrap the things around your ears a couple times, it'll bring that up closer to your to your head. Wait, how? No, like take take look like, like this. Let me sh uh, you know like uh, where's my pair of that kind of headphones? Uh. Just like wrap wrap this the string part around your ear a couple times and then put the things in and it'll bring that part closer. Oh, like these, right? Yeah, like that. Yeah, like that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's better. Okay. <laughs> um, okay, so uh, if I were to ask you the question to Tell me how many possible uses you can think of for a brick. What would I be asking that question to test? Mm, maybe any, but also T, I would say. Okay. Uh, that's, that's an interesting answer. Uh, so, if have, have you ever heard me ask the question about the, the chicken in England? The chicken that became a rooster? Uh, yes, but I never understand that one because uh, I'm not a native speaker and I don't understand all of the words you are saying. And this one was that one. That okay. I don't understand all the words. Uh, all right, so... But I, I can try it if you... Uh, oh, sure, sure. I'll, I'll go through it uh, slowly. Um, and unfortunately, the gardeners just got here. They they, they don't stay for very long. <laughs> There's some back some background noise, but um. So there's in England there was a a chicken farm that just had hens, female chickens. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I did it. All, all hens, no roosters. Mm -hmm. And so. What are roosters? What are roosters? Roosters are, are boy chickens. Mm-hmm. So yeah, I did it. Yeah, the the lady chickens are called hens, and the male chickens are called roosters. So uh, anyway, one of the, the this was a flock of all women chickens, right? Hens. They were all lady chickens, and one of them got an injury to her her ovary to her, um, you know, like her reproductive organs. Okay, mm -hmm. yeah. and after that injury, she grew feathers like a rooster, mm -hmm. and she started cockadoodle doing like a rooster. And when a predator would swoop in, like a hawk or something, she'd go out there and rock, rock, rock like a rooster to protect the other birds. So the question is: Is that bird really a chicken or really a rooster? I think it's still a chicken because it was born as a chicken. It, it's very similar to uh, uh, to transgenderism in the humanity. Yeah, yeah. So this is a quite interesting question. Yeah. Okay. So, do you have a position on transgenderism? Mm hmm. Chicken gardeners. They're very loud, sorry. They're, yeah. They'll be gone in just a few minutes. Yeah, all right. Um, you have a good opinion on that? Mm. I don't think so. Well, I was thinking a little bit about it, but... Mm, 
No, this medicine, it's not that important to me, but... Mm, mm. Okay, that's fine. Uh, I, I like to... But it, yeah, it's fine, that's fine. It's a, it's a controversial subject anyway. Um, yeah. So, uh... <laughs> okay, let me do the standard SI test. I'm going to tell you about mm -hmm. my last couple of hours and then you demonstrate it, right? So, like, a couple hours ago I woke up and I made a new pot of coffee, I went pee, I uh, smoked a cigarette, I watched some episodes of this this new anime that I'm watching. Kakegurui? Uh, no, I'm actually no. saving... No. I'm saving episodes of of that that one to watch with Rachel, uh, but mm -hmm. yeah. uh, I was watching this one called like Intergalactic. It's like Star Wars kind of, but it's a Japanese animation. It was from it was from 2018, and it, it's actually quite good. It's quite entertaining. I it just when I happen upon by pushing random on the in yeah. Crunchyroll, but anyway. Uh, then I, uh, then I, I don't know, I did something else, then I started this. So, can you do that for your last few hours? Oh, uh, I can, actually, I can, from midnight to now. Because, uh, actually, uh, after I wrote you, the, I don't, it was, uh, day after Wednesday, I don't know how you, you Thur say it. Thursday. Thursday, yeah. Um, first day, so basically I was really thinking about uh, what my type is. I was overthinking it too much. Uh, that much that uh, the last day, yesterday, I was so stressed out that <laughs> actually I I cannot sleep. I, I went to bed at uh, 9 p.m. and then I woke up in midnight, yeah, basically. It was ex exactly midnight. And I, I tried to fall asleep, like I re really did, but I cannot, I just... Uh, I just... Uh, I was thinking about what type I could be, actually, and I was a lot of thinking about uh, possibilities, like what uh, questions you could have asked me and how I would uh, uh, answer them and how, uh, what, what do you feel I, how do you feel right now uh, now I feel go, uh, really not well glad and all right really so you've got a lot of books well, I, books behind you do you read a lot oh uh, I used to nowadays I, I don't uh, I read that much, but yeah. It, it's weird, huh? It's like I used to read a lot too. I guess the yeah. phase is still where I read some. Um, okay, do you. So. What kind of books do you read? Um, I usually read uh, like science fiction fantasy books, like Swords and Dragons, and kind of, those kind of books. Mm -hmm. like, yeah, actually, or behind me, I don't know if you can see, but uh, there is a demon. I, I never finished that one, but then there is a, a labyrinth. Uh, it was a movie series about, you know. I did. One, yeah, right? yeah. Yeah. Uh, there is a Lord of the Rings, and then. Uh, oh, okay. You like that kind of stuff too? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, what What language do you speak natively? Uh, actually, I speak two languages because. I don't know if you heard about this country, because most of the Americans don't know. Uh, you probably, maybe you know, uh, uh, I'm from Slovakia. You're from Slovakia, Slovakia. okay. Yeah, it, it, a lot of people misinterpret, misinterpret, uh, misinter I mean, misinterpret it as what? Yes, with uh, Slovenia. They misinterpret it for Slovenia? For Slovenia, yeah. Uh, Slovakia and Slovenia are different places, though. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Now we so, know. Uh, actually, I, I, we, we I, are in... Uh, sorry, I, I can talk. I, uh, I was aware 
that those were two different places, but I don't know mm-hmm. anything about either of them, so I don't know how yeah. they're different. <laughs> yeah. So basically, one is, um, you know, Croatia, right? Yeah. It has the, the sea and such. Slovenia is such, uh, it's like that. It has also the harbor, I think. Uh, we are, we don't have the sea at all. Uh, we are in the middle of Europe. You're, uh, la- you're landlocked. Yes, ex- exactly. Yeah. <laughs> hey, you know what? That used to be a bigger deal before airplanes. Wait, again? That bigger you, deal? It used to be a bigger deal before airplanes. Yeah, that, that's true, because you have to go through the mountains and such, yeah. Yeah. Um, and we are a really mountainous country, so... Yeah. Well, that's cool. So do you do uh, winter sports, like skiing? No. I had the chance to learn the skiing, but no. Okay. So are you not particularly outdoorsy? You don't like to go out and take hikes and uh, stuff like that? I like to go out, even now, but um, no, I, most of the time I stay home, stay at home. Okay. Um, when you are listening to music, how much of the time that you're listening to music are you seeking out and finding new music versus how much of the time are you listening to music you already know? Well, I, I don't know how to describe it. Uh, well, I, if you ask me two years ago, I would tell you that I don't listen to the music in, at all. Then I, st- then I started to listen to Slipknot, I think. And, and, and after that, I get through the other bands or also music and that side. And the last two months, I listen to anything that uh, YouTube recommends me. So. But I return to the old stuff also. So. Okay. Um, do you uh, do you rewatch movies or videos or reread books or once you've watched it or read it, you're done with it? Mm, not that much. Only if uh, the book or the movie was really great, then yes. I actually did that only with the books from my childhood. I wanted to. To reread them from childhood, but yeah. but once when I read or seen something, I I I don't get to that again. Do you see your life as you at the front of a succession of past events trailing behind you, or you in the center of various circles of people or events? Uh, I would say I'm uh, a lot uh, stuck in the past. Stuck in not, the past. Not that much, so like... You, you remember well what what's come before. Um, certain events, yeah. Okay. Uh, I'm, like, not fully aware of them, like... Um, but when I, I don't know, when I... Or get um, nostalgic or something like that, uh, or I want to, I, or I am retrospective, and I want to add, actually, uh, your typing sessions forced me to actually think about uh, my days in the school, mm. like when I was in the elementary and high school and stuff. What? Because Oh, sorry. What's what, what's more important to you, being socially graceful or being comfortable physically? <laughs> oh, that's uh, that's a never-ending fight. I would say. <laughs> Which is more difficult for you to maintain? Uh, uh, I don't think I got the problem. People liked me. In general, say so, uh, can you say the first part of that again? You you don't what that people like you. Uh, 
I don't necessarily think that I have problem people like me. Oh, okay, so I see. Okay. Most, most of the time... That... Do you have more of a problem with maintaining your physical comfort? Mm. Yeah, I realized uh, the last days uh, I was quite amazed. I, I just see, like, I will tell, like, this way. Uh, because I'm now studying uh, university. No, it's not an, like, college, college, yeah. I'm studying college and we end the semester. And then we got uh, exams. And uh, we we've got uh, one month for um, finishing all of our exams we are want to take, and I was able to finish them quite early, like in two first weeks. So I don't have basically problem. Mm. So you're you're not a procrastinator. I love, wait, wait. Uh, it's not like actually I'm procrastinator, but I I always do it. Uh, I I don't even know how I actually I I don't even know how I end up uh, getting so early. All, all the exams. Mm. Oh, it was quite easy online, but uh, like we had to write uh, two essays. Yeah, two essays. Uh, most of the uh, classmates have, uh, not most of them, but uh, plenty of them had quite problems with that. I never had problems with writing, I don't know. Just ideas can mature somehow. So, so it's, it, would you say that it's harder for you to be concise than it is for you to be long enough? Uh, what is concise? So, in other words, uh, is it, it well there's an expression in English that um, I'm sorry this is so long this email is so long I would have made it shorter if I had more time okay so that's one perspective that, oh. I would made it shorter if I got more time. If I if I if I had had more time, I would have made this shorter. But I didn't have the time to work on this email, so I just let it be long. Okay, that's an extroverted intuition perspective on things. Mm -hmm. uh, another person might say, "I'm sorry, this email is so short. I didn't have time to write more." And the the point being, yeah, yeah. that some people they feel a need to express the idea more fully. And mm -hmm. so yeah. sometimes they'll lose the central point of the email in making sure all the, the, the specifics yeah, are laid yeah, out. I, I get it yeah. So which kind so, of person are you? Uh, I don't know. It, it depends. It depends on the day and the time. <laughs> sometimes I am quite disorganized and, uh, like I boost out ideas, but uh, it's not usable usable as much. And sometimes uh, I, I'm quite struggling, but after time, I can sort it out and. Okay, go. so let me just uh, say right here that yeah. I don't normally use a lot of physical cues in typing people at all. Any kind of visual data that I can see. But yeah. I would like to point out that this whole time, the stuff you do all the time is very NTP-ish stuff, which is cool. to say this kind of thing. This uh -huh. and this and and all of this wiggly shit really? you do, you know? It's, uh, I do it too, right? I do it all the time. Yeah. So um, yeah, I, that that's a, a, something that is not definitive about your type, but is, yeah. I, I thought, think, uh, worth noting maybe. Uh, NPs in general would have that, right? Say again? NPs. NPs? I'm not sure if it's NPs in general. I think it's it's more NTPs than it is NFPs. Because um, 
Because the SI is in the same place, but the bottom line is NTPs are a lot more metaphysical in their approach to things because they have two communicative functions up front, whereas the NFPs are a lot more physical because they have FI, which causes them to be just generally more aware of themselves. So less likely to do these kind of weird SI ticks that NTPs are most commonly the ones to do. But that's that's regardless. I mean, it's not definitive of anything. Mm-hmm. Let, let me ask you some TI questions so we can see where we're at with that. Um, yeah. I want to... Okay. Uh, if some bananas are yellow and some yellow things are made into pudding... Is it necessarily the case that some bananas are made into pudding? Okay, I need probably more time to remember this one. If some bananas are yellow, yes, and if some bananas are yellow, and some yellow things are made into pudding, is it necessarily the case that some bananas are made into pudding? Well, you can have different kinds of bananas, right? Oh, wait, 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 need again, need again. Okay, if, again, if some bananas are yellow, yeah, some bananas are yellow, and some yellow things are made into pudding, then can we conclude necessarily that some bananas are made into pudding? I would say yes. Yeah. Okay. Um... If I were to ask it like this, if some A's are B and some B's are C, can we conclude that some A's are C? Some A's are B's and uh, some B's can be C's, right? Yeah. Okay. 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 If I say uh, only people from uh, Slovakia like hats... Mm-hmm. And I'm from Slovakia. Can we conclude that I necessarily like hats? No, because it doesn't mean necessarily that if you are Slovak, you like the hats. Okay. You can be the Slovak who doesn't like hats. Okay. No. Um, let me uh, let me bring up some stuff on the screen for you to look at because. I think that'll make it easier for you to to process stuff than having to process it orally first. Um, so let me share a screen here and get a piece a document up that I want you to look at. Okay, so this it's fine if you get a you're probably gonna need a piece of paper and a pencil to do this part. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah. All right. So, could you try to answer? Question number one there. Can you read it? Number one, okay. Is it big enough? Uh, I can make it bigger. Hold on. No, no, no. It's all right. All right. Uh, K, V, H, and Q have gotten separated during their hike. Each is in one of four locations. By the stream near the cabin. Each is in one of four locations. Stream, cabin... Three, dark K. K H are scared of the dark, while Vern and Queen are scared of heights. Vern and Kelly also scared of water. Yeah, I would need paper on this one. You were, you were right. Uh, while Helen and Queen are scared of cabins. Ke- Kelly is not that cabin. Okay, so.
a widget stream cabin three. We actually did this uh, this kind of exercises in school. Oh yeah, that's yeah. cool. Yeah, this oh, okay. this I, this is from my uh, my curriculum for my teaching or critical thinking class that I used to teach. Okay, so which one of them doesn't like darkness? Kelly and H, Ellen. Oh, which one of them the, uh, is scared of heights? Vernon and Queen. Okay, but which one is correlated, uh, correlated with heights? Three, uh, total three, and I don't know, oh, Kevin, is it uh, that uh, thing uh, which is... It's not about the ground, right? Kevin? It's not about is the... It? What? It's ever. Uh, I'm not sure what you're asking. Every one of them is yeah. in one of the places. Uh, I mean, this uh, cabin. A cabin is a little house in the forest. Okay, so it's not about the ground. I, I thought that is uh, that thing which. Uh, oh, I see. No, no, no. Scared of no. heights? No, no. It's not height. It's just okay, a, little, okay. a little house in the uh, forest. Stream. Stream is. Uh, Water. Which goes to the river, right? Mm -hmm. Am I? Uh, yeah, a stream is like a little river. Okay, so tall three. Tall three. Uh, tall three. Who is scared of heights? Uh, Vernon Queen. Uh, three. Uh, Vernon Queen. Okay. Uh, Kelly and Helen. Oh, okay, Vern and Kelly are also scared of water. So they don't go to the stream. Uh, while Helen and Queen are scared of cabins. Who is scared of cabins? <laughs> People with cabin phobia. <laughs> okay, and what are they asking? Kelly is not at the cabin. Where is everyone? Mm -hmm. Oh, I, I see. So, every one of them is in some place. There is not such that every one of them is... Correct. Oh. Right. Yeah. Everybody's not in the one place. E each is in a different place. It's not like that. Every each one of them is in a different place. Yeah, yeah. That's what I was thinking. Okay. So Kelly is not even cabin. Okay. So Kelly not cabin. Kelly is also uh, of a dark cave, so she's not there. And uh, what else? She's also afraid of the water, so if she's in uh, in the tree. Yeah. Kelly, three. Okay. Uh, what else? Okay, mm. it's fine. You've done enough work on this. Um, can I can I see your right. paper? Can I see how you approach it on your paper? I, let me see. I uh, mm. Let me see. I write it with the pencil, so we on the paper which I. I. Can you hold it back a little further? Uh, oh, you do like pictures of things? Or uh, that, oh, yeah, those, those were already there. Those were already there or what? Yeah. Okay, I see. <laughs> wait, wait a minute. Uh, I can't really see what it looks like, but... Uh, wait, I, I can actually... You would never guess what my brother told me that I am. What did your brother tell you you are? That I am STJ. STJ? Yeah. Um, I think he does it on purpose. Purpose. Just to piss you off or what? <laughs> Maybe. <I don't> <laughs> he, he's quite a character. <laughs> Himself, so... 
what do you what do you think about TE values? Hmm. Uh, I don't know. Well, then I have to learn something. Then I have to do it. Uh, but okay, better. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Um, I see what you're. You're okay. So basically, you, did, you made like a little, a little. Well, uh... I wouldn't say that. No. Uh, from what I heard you saying about T and how you function with that, uh, I I don't have such problems with a T, but uh, actually I learn learn uh, tasks through rep repetition. I just need to exercise and exercise, and then I get it. Okay. Most of the time. Um, when it comes so, to manual work. Uh, what kind of so so you find like essay writing of uh, like the easiest kind of task that they give you, or do you find other mm -hmm. kinds of tasks easier? Actually, I was really good at math. Uh, no. <laughs> Uh, I did a lot of mistakes here and there, but uh, then I end up getting uh, worse, gra worse grades than I should. But uh, I, I actually. How are you about losing I stuff? Said, like, did you lose assignments or or other papers and th things like that? Uh, it's not like I knew. Uh, uh, I'm uh, losing them. I just forget when I where I uh, let them be like once once actually it was fifth, five years ago I went to the forest and with, on the bike and I have to go pee so I went to the bushes somewhere and I let my phone uh, by the tree but after I written it on that place, I wasn't able to find it. So I was finding it about 15 minutes or half an hour, and I wasn't able to find it. I was really stressed out. So, and I, it was far, far away for, from home. So I got to return to, to home, basically, to tell my mom uh, to go with me. She was really pissed off. And, she had to call me, and by the sound we found my phone. Was it near where you were looking? Uh, I, I don't know. Probably. Okay. Um, so, here's the thing. I have to go poo right now. So, yeah. I wanna, I'm going to stop this video, and then I'll restart it when I... I'll restart recording when I come back. Okay? Yeah. I'll be gone for about five minutes.